Oh, hello, hello, everybody. It is I, J Malls of J Malls Gaming, here today to catch some fish. Fish! We are here with ocean fishing. And I've recently started doing ocean fishing, and I want to talk about it because that's what I like to do with the channel. Yeah? So, for those who may have not started fishing yet, Ocean fishing is an interesting can of worms, in a way. I have no idea what the heck to use here. I'm just going to go with ragworm. I think that's the one. I don't know. Let's chum the water a little bit. Let's cast a line. So, yeah. Ocean fishing is this really interesting piece of content where every two hours, so... Yeah, every two hours, you go to the spot in Limsa... And the boat for ocean fishing will begin its queue. You join up and you go out on an expedition, basically. And it goes to three different areas at random. You get a couple of voyage missions you can see in the top right here. And essentially what you just gotta do is fish. You can buy bait and tackle from this merchant and mender. Sell fish you get if your inventory gets full, because it will. Trust me, it will. And yeah, it's just fishing. The guy, like, Bob's your uncle, it's fishing. It's ocean, you're fishing out on the ocean. It is what it is on the tin. But it has some nice rewards. Like, there's some pretty decent, like, minions to get. Like, you got a pet shark. Actually, let me see if I can pull this up. Ooh, where are they? Do, 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 do. Like, I've gotten a few minions from this. Like, I got, like, two or three. And I've only done ocean fishing for a couple of times. So, if you're a collector for a lot of minions and stuff, this will probably be really up your alley. It's also really efficient for XP farming. Yeah, here we go. I got the Seagull. And I got the Major General. I love this freaking minion. Look at him. He's just a freaking shark. He's just chilling. Dude, the vibes are strong with this one. I like it. I think I got another one I have to claim as well. But... It's really freaking cool how they have incentivized ocean fishing in such a way to where there's, like, multiple things you can do. Honestly, this is going to sound kind of weird. It's kind of like the Bajja of fishing. Now, that does sound kind of weird because it is, but ocean fishing is also kind of weird. And that's not a bad thing, mind you. So, ocean fishing has a few of these, like, magical events. Well, magical. Well, some of them are magical, but there's some events that pop up. Maybe you'll see some seagulls or some dolphins, and they'll augment your stats in such a way where they might increase the amount of fish you can get, or time to cast will be reduced and stuff like that. And there's also like this spectral current where if someone can uh, manage to fish up this certain thing, it activates this spectral current, which just makes you get a lot of quick catches and a lot of high point value catches. Now, you may be asking, so what are you going to do ocean fishing for? It's just fishing, right? Yeah, it is. But you can do it basically at any level for fishing. And it's really good XP. Like, for every level of fi Every ocean expedition I do now, or ocean fishing event, gives me like two levels. Like, it's like 25 minutes of work. So Actually, no, it's like 21. Yeah, it's really freaking efficient. And early levels before I got to the 50s. I'm 59 now, as you can see. I was getting, like, maybe, like, four levels of fit. Four levels. It's, like, really freaking efficient. And it's kind of chill. Like, you just throw Netflix or, like, YouTube or Twitch on your, like, on, like, a phone or, like, a monitor, and you just vibe out. It's pretty chill. And apparently, you can even just, like, set up your controller with vibration, and you don't even need to look at the screen. Yeah, it's, like, low effort in terms of inputs you actually have to do, but... Especially if you're low level. It's kind of chill. And it's also really efficient, like I said before. I don't know, there's something about it that's pretty just fun. To just be on a boat with a whole bunch of, like, random players and just fishing. And then sometimes there'll people, people will, like, talk in the chat. M mainly, from what I've seen, it's devolved to what type of bait do we need to use and when do we use it. And then people will answer questions and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe there's a skill element, like, later on when you get a lot of your abilities for fishing. I'm only level 59, right? So if I can basically just chum the waters, forehead. 
But yeah, it's pretty interesting trying to catch all these voyage missions because you get XP buffs at the end of this. So you'll get a small XP buff at the very end. It'll be like maybe like the same amount as a fish or two. Oh, this is cool. We actually have the spectral fishing current here. So you can see, th you can tell when you are in the spectral fishing, right? Very easy to tell. So I managed to fish it up, and now we're going to get a lot of fish here. You actually see your catches over here, and at the very end, they add up all your catches. And each catch you do has an associated point total to it. So the whole goal is to get as many points as you can, so you get much, as much XP at the end as you can. And there's like a lot of achievements for ocean fishing, like a shocking number. Actually, let me see if I can pull that up. Let me try also not to like miss this. Okay, with crafting and gathering, with fishing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I have them here. But there's like a lot of freaking fish. Over here. Yeah, see, I still need to claim this dolphin calf because I was able to. I had I saw three dolphin pods, so I got a minion. I counted three seagull flocks, so I got a seagull minion. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. I like it. Like it's pretty chill. And what the what I really like about ocean fishing is that it's not the only way you can level fishing, right? You have your quest. You can just go do fishing. Maybe some leave quests and stuff like that. Where ocean fishing feels like it's an option. You don't need to do it, but you can, and it's there if you want to do it. If you really like fishing or you just want something that's, like, not really mentally intensive, and you just want to vibe out for a little bit, yeah, it's there, and it's a nice thing you can just, like, go do. I would say the biggest criticism is that you can only do it every, like, two hours. So maybe it doesn't light up with your schedule. But when you can do it, it's pretty nice. And when you hit, like, at uh, 30 seconds left in a certain area, you can no longer fish. I don't know exactly why, but... I think it's because the longest time from putting your line to the water to be able to catch it is, like, 30 seconds, like, 29. So they have it, like, timed like that, even though I've still gotten screwed over a couple of times. Where I had, like, a three exclamation mark catch... And I was like half a second away from getting it, and we moved on to the next zone, I got screwed over. Yeah, that happened before. So yeah, we're moving on to the next little area for ocean fishing. Get a little cutscene here. Kind of like a dungeon, when you think about it. Like that, you know the, the intro cinematic for each dungeon, right? But it's kind of cool, Leia. You never really get to go out in the ocean in this game. And this game just kind of gives you an excuse, too. Oh, and I'm an idiot, because I haven't been using my XP buffs. Ignore this. I'll do one of these, one of these. Throw some chum in the water, there we go. Put the line out. Put the little light bulb at the very end of it on. Boom, we got a catch. Easy for me. And you can see here, I already got one of the voyage missions done. That's cool. And there's a few things you can actually go for here. You can either just try and tackle point totals and get as many as you can, or, if you want, you go for collectibles. Like, get all the fish you can. So we're in Gladion Bay. So there's only one type of fish I haven't been able to catch here yet. And three in the Spectral Current. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of things where... It's deeper on the. It's deeper than it appears on the surface. When you just start out ocean fishing, it just kind of feels like, oh, all right. So I'm just instead of fishing from a specific location in the world, I'm just fishing from this boat. Whoop de doo. What's to it? But then you start to keep doing it, and you see there's a nice amount of depth to the system. And we just got the gold storm buff, so chance of landing and high quality catch while fishing is increased. It's, yeah, it's RNG heavy, I think. And sure, it's not going to be to everybody's cup of tea, but that's one of the good things about this game, where not every piece of content needs to be tailor-designed for you. Like, ocean fishing is something I'm not going to do 24-7. It's going to be something I do when I feel like it. And for that purpose, it suits that need 
perfectly, and it has it suits a specific role that I think is really good for this game. And I'd love to see something similar happen for like crafting, not crafting, but for mining and botany. I think that would be pretty cool as well. And also for those of me, for those of you who are like me, where you have every job at level 80 but fishing. It helps give you just a relaxing time to just power level this thing. You gain a lot of XP through ocean fishing. Yeah, there's not much more to really say about it. It's just a really chill time. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think every piece of content in the game needs to be this mentally intensive, difficult piece of content. I like having that kind of stuff juxtaposed with the more chill stuff as well. It gives me a variety of things to do. And the more that... And the more of... More variety that this game adds to the overall pool of content that it has is generally a good thing. Like we're getting private islands in Endwalker. That's a really great idea. I love that direction. While also investing in the and the more difficult stuff. It's just more content for me to play. And to me, that's cool. I like it. And maybe not everything has to stick with me. Maybe I get fish in a max level and I don't touch it again. Or maybe in like a, a couple of months, I decide, you know what? I could go for ocean fishing. Maybe I want to go for the world-class troller title if I really don't like myself for a, given re for a given week. I could do that. I don't have to, though. And that's what makes this content so good, in my opinion. It's that it's there to do. I can level fishing from 1 to 80 and never touch this if I wanted to. But I wanted to touch it, so I did it. But that's what makes... A lot of the things in this game just work so well. It's optional. You don't feel obligated to do it. Unless you want those minions, but... They're mainly just a nice reward for actually putting the time in to do ocean fishing. And I don't mind that. I don't mind it. It's not like, unless I'm just mistaken on this issue, like, correct me in the comments if I am, but there's no, like, end-game equipment you're getting from ocean fishing. I don't think so. Like, the best I can think of is the completion log for the fishing log. Like, that's the best I can think of. Oh, another spectral current. Here we go. Come on. Reel it in. Come on. Oh, what we get? We got another leopard eel. This game it loves giving me leopard eels for some reason. Boom, let's cast that out. Here we go. And I kind of like how you kind of form your own little communities on each of these expeditions. Like, you have whatever this is called, gang. You have the side gangs. It's just really cool. Like, you split off in your own little community and just fish together. You don't need to talk, but I don't think you really need to. You just plug in to do a little bit of fishing. And it's kind of cool just seeing a whole bunch of people fish, fish together. And I'm level 60. Like, I have not been fishing that much in this game. It's really quick. And I think that's one of the things that really makes ocean fishing appeal to me. It was just that I wanted a quick way to level fishing, and... Yeah, ocean fishing fits that bill. I don't think it needs to be anything more than this. I would love to see it iterated on. Have new zones, new types of fish, maybe new events. You can really build off this system to develop something really meaningful and cool for fishing. Because fishing has always been a pretty unique job in MMOs. It's always never really fit the bill between, like, mining and botany and stuff, and, you know, jobs and classes like that, or professions like that. It's always had this different niche. And especially in Final Fantasy, with mainly with Final Fantasy XV, right? Fishing has kind of taken it on its own form. And I would love to see fishing invested more in more. More abilities, more interesting catches, more wacky and zany stuff. You can just, like, put a lot of cool ideas in fishing. It's a very simplistic concept in nature, but that's what really makes it shine when you can just do really wacky stuff. Like, we're in a spectral current, right? Like, northern lights are surrounding us while we're catching a bunch of fish. It's cool. I like it. I don't think it needs to be more than that. Let's move on to the... I'm going to skip the final zone for this video, and I'm going to show you all the... 
we'll want to get at the very end of it. Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay, and we are done. I got a little over 3,000 points. And I think I'm like halfway through level 60 now. Everybody's exhausted. Long day of fishing. Bring a haul in. Get our points and some XP. What we like to say. Now, like I said before, you don't get that much in the grand scheme of things. Like for this. I if anything, if I had like any critique, I would like kinda I would kind of wish the XP reward for this would be greater. But you get so much like just doing it. Like, we got 364,000 here, right? And 362 scripts. Actually, I think I'm capped out in yellow scripts now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's see, I need like 4.4 million for a level. So, if anything, I would kind of like the end of the expedition's XP gain to be just a bit better. To be a bit better. That should be a personal thing. Just make it more rewarding and more incentivizing to go after the voyage missions if you can.